हॅलो एव्हरी वन माय सेल्फ लेक्चर मिस अदिती अनिल कुशारे मास्टर ऑफ फार्मसी इन क्वालिटी अशुरन्स टेक्निक्स फ्रॉम के के वाग इन्स्टिट्यूट ऑफ फार्मसी चांदोरी नाशिक टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस अबाउट द टॉपिक इमल्शन दॅट इज इमल्सिफाईंग एजंट फ्रॉम फार्मास्युटिक्स टू सो द टॉपिक्स टू बी कवर्ड फ्रॉम दिस सेशन आर ॲज फॉलोज introduction to emulsion as a biphasic liquid dosage form emulsifying agent then selection of emulsifying agents and classification of emulsifying agents let's see about the definition of emulsions an emulsion is a thermodynamically unstable system consisting of at least two immiscible liquid phases one of which is dispersed phase as globules that is also called as internal phase which is present in the lesser concentration in the other liquid phase other other liquid phase is also called as continuous phase or external phase which is present in the excess concentration as compared to dispersed globules or internal phase and this system is stabilized by a third substance called emulsifying agent let's discuss about emulsifying agent emulsifying agent are the third substance or the agent which produce the film at the interface between two immiscible liquids and that is stabilize the system those agents are called emulsifying agent or emulsifier or emulsant then let's see the characteristics of emulsifiers and pharmaceutically acceptable emulsifiers that must have stability means it must be stable it must be compatible with the other ingredients it must be non toxic it must possesses the little odor taste or color and it should not interfere with the stability of efficacy of the active agent that is there must not be any incompatibility between active pharmaceutical ingredient api and this emulsifying agents criteria for the selection of emulsifying agents an ideal emulsifying agent should possess the following characteristics it should be able to reduce the interfacial tension between the two immiscible liquids it should be physically and chemically stable inert and compatible with the other ingredients of the formulation it should be non irritant and non toxic in the concentration used it should be organoleptically inert that is it should not impart any color odor or taste to the preparation it should be able to produce and maintain the required viscosity of the preparation it should be able to form a coherent film around the globules of the dispersed phase and it should prevent the coalescence of the droplet of the dispersed phase the next let's see in detail about the classification of emulsifying agents first class is natural emulsifying agents from vegetable sources acacia tragacanth agar pectin and starch the second one natural emulsifying agent which is obtained from animal sources gelatin egg yolk and wool fat third class that are semi synthetic polysaccharides it includes methyl cellulose cellulose and sodium carboxymethyl cellulose fourth one synthetic emulsifying agents it includes three types anionic cationic non ionic anionic containing negative charge cationic containing positive charge ions and non ionic in which both positive negative charge are absent fifth one inorganic emulsifying agents in that there are four types milk of magnesia magnesium oxide magnesium trisilicate and bentonite sixth one that are saponins seventh alcohols in that a cholesterol b carboxylic c lecithin let's see what we learned from this 
topic emulsion that is emulsifying agents the learning outcomes are what is emulsion as a biphasic liquid dosage form then emulsifying agent selection of emulsifying agent and last one in a brief classification of emulsifying agent thank you